Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. We'd like to thank Tank and DYM for suggesting the idea for this video. Thanks guys. Today we'll be looking at two types of dog breeds, the Great Dane and the St. Bernard. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, training, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. Let's begin by looking at their appearance, starting with the Great Dane. The Great Dane is highly regarded for its majestic appearance and carriage, standing at 28 inches to 34 inches tall and weighing from 100 up to 200 pounds. These large canines are sleek and athletic with long muscular bodies. Their necks are also long, graceful, and set high. Their bodies tend to be as long as they are tall, except for females who may have bodies that are slightly longer than their height. They have deep muzzles with black, blue-black, or black-spotted noses. The thick tails, which will thin out to a point at the end, will also be carried high. The Great Dane's coat is glossy, short, and dense, and comes in a variety of color patterns, including brindle, fawn, blue, black, harlequin, and mantle. The St. Bernards are also giant dogs of enormous size. Standing anywhere from 26 to 30 inches tall and weighing about 120 to 180 pounds. The St. Bernard has an enormous stocky build with a large block-shaped head and dropped ears. Some have dark masks over their eyes. Their ears are set high on the head and are floppy, and eyes are dark and a little droopy. Their tails are long and bushy, with their skin and lips also being droopy, which makes them prone to drooling. This breed may be long-haired or short-haired. Coat colors include red and white, brown and white, and brindle and white. Great Danes are considered gentle giants. They are moderately playful, affectionate, and good with children. Great Danes generally get along well with other animals, particularly if they were raised with them. But some individuals in the breed can be aggressive with dogs they do not know. A well-bred Dane is one of the best-natured dogs around. They're gentle, sweet, affectionate pets who love to play and are relaxed with children. They have a great desire to please, which makes them easy to train. Ready? Go. Great Danes want to be where their family is. They like people a lot, including strangers and children, and will welcome visitors happily unless they think you need defending. <laughs> then they can be fiercely protective. St. Bernards are also gentle giants. These large dogs have an extremely calm, docile nature and are very sweet and friendly. They are also very patient and are especially good with children and generally get along well with other dogs and pets. They have a laid back nature and don't typically suffer from separation anxiety. But as with all dogs, they shouldn't be left at home for a long period of time. They love attention, but aren't as demanding of it as some other breeds. St. Bernard's instinctive friendliness is likely to throw off a stranger's initial fear of approaching such a large dog. However, St. Bernard's are equally quick to protect family members who they believe are in danger. St. Bernard's are not typically a guard dog by nature, but their large size means they can be imposing, and for this purpose, they can be used as watchdogs, as they can be protective of their family. Great Danes are considered easy to train, but some Great Dane owners say that individuals can be stubborn learners. They require strong leaders who are clear and confident. Danes are smart and quick learners when they are trained with consistency. These dogs are known to be fairly intelligent, especially when learning simple commands. The best way to train your Great Dane is by having him participate in consistent and entertaining practices on a daily basis. Make sure to keep the practices short and fun. Since they love to please their owners, they tend to be very attentive during training practices and are highly capable of becoming a well-behaved pet later in life. A St. Bernard responds to training in a slow but effective fashion. They're definitely trainable, but aren't necessarily the most responsive off the bat, as they can be stubborn. 
Despite their cooperative nature, it is important that they are correctly trained and socialized from puppyhood, as their large size means they can be difficult to control if allowed to become rowdy. When given regular access to outside spaces, either on walks or in the form of a garden, house training is not usually an issue for St. Bernard's. This is a breed that benefits immensely from puppy classes and lots of early socialization. Being that they're a bit slow to learn, it's productive to keep them in class, then to administer discipline training when they're at home. For St. Bernard's, positive reinforcement works best. For most of the year, the Great Dane's short, smooth coat doesn't shed much. But given the size of the dog, this can still amount to a fair bit of hair. Weekly brushing will help keep shedding to a minimum. During shedding season, once or twice a year, however, hair loss will be more profuse, and daily brushing will become ideal. Great Danes need a bath only occasionally, unless they get into something messy. Great Danes may seem sedate, but they require daily exercise. A brisk walk two or three times a day can be enough. They can make good companions on jogs or hikes, but you should wait until the dog is two years old to avoid damage to growing joints. They tend to follow their nose wherever a scent takes them, so they should always be kept on a leash and only allowed loose in areas secured with a tall fence. Many Great Danes enjoy participating in agility, obedience, tracking events, weight pulls, and sports such as fly ball. St. Bernard's come in long-haired and short-haired varieties, but both types of coats require the same care. Weekly brushing will help remove dirt and loose hair and keep the dog looking his best. Any tangles can be worked out with a slicker brush or metal comb. During a shedding season, which occurs twice a year, brushing will become a daily activity. The occasional bath will keep the same looking and smelling fresh. Despite being a large and powerful breed, St. Bernard's only require a moderate amount of exercise. One long walk or half hour play session per day should be enough to keep them healthy and happy. Of course, if their owner wants to take longer hikes or go backpacking or on a camping trip, a saint is always happy to go along. A saint is happiest when they are doing activities together with their owner. Both breeds make great companions. Either one will be a fantastic addition to your family. Seeing as both breeds are also mid-energy dogs, you don't have to worry about strict exercise schedules if that's a problem for you or your family. But be sure to give them the amount they need. Thanks for watching, and let us know what other breeds you would like to see side by side.